The DeSoto Eagles have one of the best athletic programs in North Texas. Their marching man is a big part of that. One senior is sharing his story of encouragement to others who either believe or have been told they can't spread their wings. As Brandon Fisher II marches into his senior year at DeSoto High School, he continues to play out his lifelong motto. To become the best person that I can ever be. I mean, you only live once, so I have to make it great. Just as unique as Brandon's story is his instrument, called the baritone euphonium. This is a valves instrument where it's similar to the tuba and the trumpet, French horn perhaps. An instrument Brandon has mastered as he has everything else in life, to the point where he and his bandmates received surprising news at a recent practice. I received a phone call from two college directors yesterday from Texas Southern University and University of Arkansas Pablo, and both of those schools offered Brandon Fisher a full ride scholarship. He is easily the hardest working student in our band program. Easily. And that's not just something that, that I say. That's something that any other student would say the same thing. He just works unlike any other. Like, he, he's, he's a beast. That's the best way to put it. Next set, ready, push him. Everything hasn't always been music to the ears of Brandon Fisher II. On the autism spectrum since he was a child, and that's come with its own challenges. It's pretty much having extra intelligence at the cost of some social ability, like tending to be socially awkward to some people. But certainly not to the people who matter most, who taught Brandon he could play a winning tune in a world that will often tell you that's not possible. We didn't start with what you can't do. We started with what you can do. And if you apply yourself to do it, how everything could be possible. And once he bought into that, he started showing it to us. For the Fisher family, that's due to one thing. The strength of God, belief in God and that he's going to take care of Brandon. And he always has and he always will. Brandon has excelled in engineering and he scored a 1290 on the SAT. His story will reverberate way beyond his time on the leadership team of the DeSoto High School Band. It's something that should sound the message that success is always attainable. One thing that we preach and is something that's actually on our wall is you belong here. It doesn't, it doesn't exclude anyone. His optimism and his outlook on everything yeah, changes it, the way that we see it. puts me at ease because he's yeah. so comfortable and he's like, I got this. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Like, you have to be able to adapt to challenge. You have to be able to overcome the challenge. And once you do, it'll make you feel awesome. Uh, Brandon's hope is that uh, people gain a better understanding of autism, especially those who are high functioning, and that stereotypes should be put to rest. And he is living proof. It's his words that really stick with me, though. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And that applies to everybody. That applies to everybody, no matter um, what you're going through in life yep. or, or where you sit. Uh, in life currently. And you know, Brooke, for me, the biggest thing that, that stood out in terms of likability, you often sometimes wonder, uh, is, the co is the band director really saying everybody likes him? When the band director announced that he had received full scholarship offers, the entire band erupted. Mm. That shows you what he means to them. So much, so much. That's wonderful. Yeah.